Today, I'm riding Bio Rail across Canada, and guess what? You coming along with me. Let's do this. For the next 24 hours, I'm taking this train from Jasper in the province of Alberta to Vancouver, British Columbia, just to ride through the Rocky Mountains to see the snow during winter and the spectacular views. I woke up early that morning and walked through the city of Jasper. This town is nestled in the Rocky Mountains. Jasper is a picturesque town that offers a unique blend of outdoor adventure and small town charm. But most impressively, this is a National Historic Station, so it's preserved. That's my friend Mike. He invited me to come on this trip only a couple of days ago to see the Rocky Mountains during the winter. The Jasper Station was built by the Canadian National Railway in 1925. Its rustic materials and robust detailing relates to its park-like setting. This station was built to serve luxury resort facilities and a national park that is located in. The railroad workers of this time created a railway and depot that will last a lifetime. So this is the train via rail and we've arrived. On your right hand side. Awesome. Yeah. Thank I've you. I've seen you guys on... Yeah, probably. Yeah. 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 Make it interesting. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Man. Appreciate it, brother. So these are the sleeper cabins, as you can see here. We're not in a sleeper cabin, we're in a sleeper berth. Mike is over here, and I'm here. Oh yeah, baby, this large comfy seat belongs to me. Ample amount of leg room, and it also converts into a bed. And this is where I'll sleep tonight. With a large window, you can sit back and relax and see the landscape. As soon as the train took off, we were greeted by a herd of elk only a few yards past the train station. I think they were sending us off on our journey. I knew with wildlife all around, a good friend on board, and some stellar views, this would be a trip for the books. We just got our seats and now we're heading to the rear car and also the dumb car. This is fancy. This is the prestige car. Like, fancy, rich, wealthy. And this is the dome car. It's where you find couches and comfortable seating, but my favorite spot is up the stairs. And breathtaking it was. The best view on a train is inside the ultra dome car. The windows on this car is six feet wide and six and a half feet high. I've been on many trains before, but the views haven't been like this. Absolutely breathtaking. So we just went past the beginning of the Fraser River and we're basically gonna follow it all the way to Vancouver. We're also at our highest point, the highest elevation, 3,700 and some odd meters. And it's all downhill from here <laughs> until we hit five meters of elevation, which is our end destination of Vancouver. So Mike is a Canadian, he's from Vancouver. But he's taken the rail before. So Mike, why have you decided to take me here? Look at this. Look at this. I'm sitting here with my coffee, watching the national park roll by while I'm inside warm and relaxed. With Will, it doesn't get much better. Hey okay, folks, there's our sister train beside us, train number two, going to Toronto. There we go. If you look towards the back, oh, yeah. that is Mount Robson right there. The highest mountain in the Canadian Rockies. 12,972 feet, just below 4,000 meters. It's time for lunch, and I'm hungry. And I got the chicken pot pie. I got the vegan hash. Oh, that's really nice. See, I could sit here and look out at these views all day long, but I think we should go on a tour of the train. There's also the cabins. They have their own doors, bathrooms inside, and they're much larger. I must admit, this shower is more spacious than the one on Amtrak. And this is the dining car. Oh. 
<sighs> what do you think so far, Mike? What a day. I mean, what a, what a place to be. Relaxing. Got nowhere to go. I always say it. You just have this out your window, ever changing. Mm -hmm. You see, I just completed the puzzle. Then <laughs> <laughs> it just stop. And as we stop, I look off into the distance and I asked the attendant, the train attendant, what is that ice structure out there? I thought it was a waterfall or something like that, but it's not. It's a aeration for a farmer who has a pond here. And every time in the winter, it turns into this mystical looking waterfall, but it's not falling, it's coming from the ground. So at 4 p.m., there is a wine tasting. Four different wines. Two white and two red. Two white, two red. So the reason we are doing a wine tasting on the train is because we've entered our wine region. This is my kind of wine tasting. We're, we're arriving early, so we got to pick up the pace. Number three. Cheers! How is it our train trips always turn into some sort of wine tasting experience? Because we're drunk and y'all know it. No, we're not. <laughs> but this is good. This is fun. What they're saying about their wine? Unexpected pleasant surprise. As you see, it's pretty dark outside. We've come to our first fresh air stop, and I definitely need some fresh air. So we've arrived in Kamloops. And I'd like to remind you, it's winter time. It's 4.45 p.m. and it's this dark. But we've had our wine tasting and now we just get to kill a little bit of time out here. So the fresh air stop is over. But I heard, what is next? Dinner? Yeah, dinner. <laughs> dinner and Vancouver. Let's go eat. Dinner? Dinner? Bon appetit. Bon appetit indeed. This looks great. <laughs> Dinner was absolutely delicious and we laughed a lot. for sleeping next to possibly some snoring people, which might be me. Um, face cloths and this is great. The lower berth has a window, the top berth doesn't. There's tons of room in here. This is great. The sleeping berth is probably your best value for money because you get access to all of the parked cars, a great bed. And the price is a little bit lower. Plus, you get the social aspect of sitting with others during the day. It's my choice. It is time to go to sleep now. We've arrived in Vancouver. Hey! <laughs> Good times to come. Bags back, ready to go. I will see y'all tomorrow. Yeah. Right? Yes, yes, yes. All right, Mike. Yeah. Thank you for everything. You've well. been great. Enjoy You've enjoyed this trip. Thanks again, Mike. All right, y'all. That was an adventure. I hope you enjoyed that and. It's time to go to sleep for me because I didn't have that much sleep last night and I'm still tired. So glad that you stayed here with me for this whole trip. And until next time, train bros out.